Okay guys, here we go. Let's walk through the multiple block color linoleum printing process. This is a process that always helps to begin with a plan. So make your key image first and think about what shapes and where the colors will be on your other blocks. Here you can see my completed and carved blocks with the residual ink on them. Once you carve the key block, you know the process for getting the image onto the other blocks of counterproofing. So I won't go into great detail here. Just remember, ink the block, print onto paper, and then transfer it to your second, third, and fourth block. Once you have the images on all four blocks, then begin carving. Here you can see my four carved but not quite printed blocks. I did stop and clean the box thoroughly after this process before I moved ahead to printing them. Sometimes the black ink can regenerate and come through in lighter color printing, so I did not want that to happen. So I'm going to start with inking the background block in the silver color. Notice how I'm inking it, just feathering the edges, not taking ink into the center because I don't want any chatter there. Again, that process is referred to as feathering. Okay, here we go. Let's print that block. You can see I'm lifting it up first to check. Now I am printing without my barrier sheet and that's absolutely fine. Just make sure your spoon or barren, whatever you're printing with is smooth so you don't um, damage the printing paper. I can really more easily see how well the ink is coming through here. So it can be of an advantage to do that. Okay, once I've got that first color printed, then I'm moving on to printing the second color block. So you can see the silver color already on the paper, and I'm just gonna jump right in and start printing away, uh, giving it a good amount of pressure. And all the way over and around the entire surface of this pink block. And let's see what happens when we pull the impression. All right, almost there. A little bit of a touch up to go and then two runs out of four will be done. All right, now for the third run of that lighter pink on top of the darker pink. Um, I'm printing pretty quickly, um, one run after the other, as this water-based uh, Dick Blick ink does dry pretty quickly. If it was oil-based ink, we would definitely have to let it dry thoroughly in between, uh, but this ink, you can move a lot more quickly with it. It is one advantage. Okay, here we go, a little bit more printing and we'll see what it looks like when I pull back this block and we get to see the first three runs done. All right, now for the key block. I decided to keep this video and show it just as a reminder to be mindful and pay attention to what you're doing. This was the print that I showed you in class previously where I accidentally flipped the key block. And at this point, I can already tell that things are amiss and this is not quite going to work, but there's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete printing it. But the great thing about printmaking is I can reprint. So here we go. Now we have that key block on top of the other three colors with everything exactly where it's supposed to be. And let's look a little closer. I did open up the um, 
key block a little bit more so I can see some of the textures from the second and third block coming through. I think that works a lot nicer and makes a lot more engaging print. Okay, so let's just walk through the entire process again so you can see it stage by step. Um, again, I'm using the L shape template we made um, for the jigsaw print. It works beautifully. So my first run of the background gray. Then on top of that, my pink, darker pink color. When you're deciding on your order, think about what needs to go on top of what, where you might want chatter to show. And here you can see my third run, the lighter pink on top of the darker pink. It's actually more of a peach color, I think. Um, and at this point, the print looks fairly resolved. But once I print that key block, especially the opened up key block on top, it really starts to sing um, and everything comes together exactly as we want it to for a four block multiple color linoleum print. And one last close up where you can see all of the texture from the different runs of ink and how they interact with each other. The little bit of chatter in the background works nicely to energize the print, so keep that in mind as you're working through. And again, the key block did not need to hold as much information with the color print as it did with the black and white, so reducing it down works to the advantage of this print so we get that lovely texture coming through.